G'day everybody, this is Johan Besto. Welcome to the... G'day everybody, this is Johan Bester. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time, I'm so glad you clicked. And if you're a subscriber already, I really appreciate it. Thanks for your support. Thanks for every comment. Hey, I've, I've been receiving so many beautiful comments through my website and in the comment section below the videos. I just want you to know that I really try to read as many of them as I can and respond to them because it really does encourage me. Um, when I receive messages from you guys. So thanks for that. So taking a break from um, analyzing American Idol, I wanted to talk about this guy, Dan Vasque, he's known as, a heavy metal singer from Brazil. And um, somebody sent me, actually a few people sent me a link to this Amazing Grace cover that he did. And people said, oh, you must listen to this. This is incredible. And I was like, Ugh. metal singer performs Amazing Grace, you know. And I didn't know him. I've since obviously checked him out and saw that he's he's got a huge channel and he's been making some really great um, videos of covers of various styles of songs and stuff. So I thought, okay, let me check it out. And then when I watched it and listened to it, I was like, I really should talk about this with my audience because there's a lot to say about this guy's version cover of the timeless, iconic, amazing grace, which almost everybody in the world sort of knows. So so let's listen together. If you've seen it already, just bear with me or we'll listen again. If you haven't seen it, maybe you will be shocked in a very good way by what you are about to see and hear. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Let's pause there quickly. So, this is quite low. Not super like basso profundo low, but in B major. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That F sharp is pretty low for most men, most male vocalists. And he sings it. It's comfortable, it's open, it's resonant. Um, and then, of course, it's interesting that he starts off a cappella. So he sings the first verse with no instrumental backing. And of course, he stays in the key very well. And there's no issues with musicality or with whatever. Um, some of the vowels are a little bit nasally. Um, amazing grace. That's a nasal way of saying the A vowel. Grace. Not nasal. By the way. Did you know, if you wanted to check whether a vowel is nasal, you block your nose while you sing the vowel. If the sound changes when you block your nose, it means some of the breath is flowing through your nose, like this. Grace. Whereas if I sang the A non-nasal, as it should be, Great. It makes no difference. So interesting. So he chooses, obviously, to do a bit of a nasal placement. It could have to do with his native tongue, with the language that he speaks. 
Um, or it's just his choice. It didn't bother me, but it's just interesting. But the low is so beautifully resonant, and then he sings with such ease, right? It's like the air just flows, and he's just actually saying the words. And I felt, the moment I saw this first verse, the first time, I was, I was immediately connected to the song through him. Right, so if you're like me, then maybe you've loved and known that song all your life. Maybe it has a deep meaning for you on a like spiritual level. Um, but I've heard it sung obviously a gazillion times, and so maybe have you. But when it, when it connects with you because of the sound and the person, then I don't know, it's, it's extra special. I feel he's connected to the song already. And the way it's shot as well, the visual, where he looks, I was, he looks away, was lost, but now I'm found. He just plays with his eyes intentionally, but it seems very connected to what he's saying. Verse 2. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did the A bit more air, yeah. Through many dangers, taunts, and snares, I have already come. This grand stand me. Okay, so then he jumps up the octave. He said, Of a maker's twas grace that taught. And then he sings that F sharp. Come. He sings that F sharp, which is a really tricky place for a male vocal. Unless you have skill, then it's not. Uh, he sings it full, resonant, connected, but not strong. That's what most people will call a mixed voice, right? Mixing the resonance of the chest resonant lower um, octave and the head resonant higher octave, sort of mixing it up, but so, so skillfully done. Just like that, up the octave, no worries, no stress, no issue. That is a sign of someone who really, really knows their voice well and who have control of their muscles they can do what they choose and then he rips out the harmonica
before the last key change. <laughs> so it was in B in the beginning, the low part and then the higher part. And then he went to F sharp for the harmonica. And now he goes to E major. When we've been there. High, powerful, like now it's, that's a G sharp. And the calm is a high B. And he sings it almost in an operatic style. Some, like throughout some of the lines, it's, 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 it's almost an operatic kind of sound. Very full, strong, not belty. Doesn't sound like pressure. Um, and with that beautiful vibrato. And then he brings on a little bit of the, the metal sort of growl. Um, rasp. Um, so, so skillful. And then up another semitone for the last verse. Sorry to stop so many times, but there's a lot to talk about. I mean that. High F. Girl high F. F what? I never can count these Fs. One, two, three, four, five. It's just really good. I don't know what to say about it. And he puts that metal rasp on it. And he places the sound exactly how he wants to. So it, it went from this a cappella, serene, amazing grace. Then harmonica. Then in come the guitars. Heavy, heavy metal like guitar layers. Um, and then up another semitone, and then that high notes. So so skillfully done, and I don't get. I don't get the sense that he's just doing it just to show off. It feels like a real interpretation. Do you know what I mean? It's like some singers just show off what they can do, their range or their different kinds of sound, for the sake of showing you how cool, that is. Um, but for me, it feels connected to the song. Really, really well done. And now just the very last phrase. I just want you to notice, I'm going to show you when he starts singing the, the very last bit. And how he sings all of it in one breath. That's another thing that can be said about this performance. He, most of the time he sings the long phrases. So many people sing amazing grace, breathe, how sweet the sound, breathe, right? But some sing amazing grace, how sweet the sound, like two phrases in one breath. That's what he does mostly in this, throughout this whole performance. Even when it's high and full and powerful, he still sings like double phrases. That's excellent. That means everything is working so well. His, his airflow, his lung capacity, but also he uses just the right amount of air, not too much. Even when he does the high and powerful, that really is a sign of great skill. So just listen to the end and how he sings that whole last bit so controlled in one breath. Was blind, oh, now from here. Hi.
Yeah. So I really wanted to talk about this because it is a demonstration of skill and application of the mechanisms that produce our sound that is so excellent. I don't love everything about it from an artistic point of view or whatever, the placement of the vowels, the slight nasality and whatever, but that's not the point. <laughs> the point is Dan here covered from a low F sharp, F sharp two, what is it? Yeah, F sharp two, to a high F, F5. That's semitone shy of three octaves covered in one song. Now, I, I told somebody about this earlier this week or last week, and they said, yeah, but can he do it live? And I'm like, oh, well, I don't know. Maybe, Dan, if you're watching, or some of his fans, or producers, or team, or somebody, let us know. If he can do that live, I'm not saying he can't. I'm just saying if he or anyone can do that live, then that's incredible. Um, there's one person that I've seen do that live all the time, consistently, and more than that, four octaves, and that is Dimash Gudaibergen, the Kazakhstan singer who's just, it's superhuman. I don't know how he does it. Um, but it's not often that you see somebody cover three octaves like this. So under his control, just with the intention that he wanted to do it with. And um, yeah, I've, I've seen some of the comments below his video on YouTube, and many hundreds and even thousands of people, it's almost 12,000 comments as we speak on the video, but many of them are like, wow, that, that blessed me, that, that helped me to heal my heart. I lost somebody. Um, I grew up with a song, but I've never felt it as much as I did now. So it's powerful. And I think it deserves the 1.8 million views that it has in three weeks. And I think he, he deserves recognition for what he has done in this performance, in this video, with this incredible song. So thanks for checking it out with me. I appreciate your time. I hope you'll give the video a thumbs up and share it with someone. And until we speak again, please take care of yourself. Before you go, let me just take an opportunity to remind you of my Patreon page, Charisma Performing Arts Patreon page. That's for people like you who are really serious about developing your voice enhancing your ability to communicate more effectively using your voice, whether it's for speaking or singing. Patreon, check it out. The link is in the description.